It's Temple West. Uh, it's been a while. Sorry, guys. A lot of you have been asking me about the release date for Kashmir, and I've been giving you very vague answers, and I apologize for that. That's because I haven't finished writing the book, which I think many of you are aware of. I just like to offer some explanation as to why I haven't finished the book. So, where do I start? All right, context. I wrote the first draft of the book when I was 19, and I'm closing in on 27 now. But I had no particular plan for like where the story was going, because I never really thought the book was going to be published. I just wrote it because I wanted to write a book. So when it was published, it was something of a surprise, and the editing process was so fast that there was no real discussion about where the series was headed, other than we know that there's going to be three books. So it wasn't until the first book was published, like out printed, can't change anything, that discussions of book two were started. <laughs> yeah, I left myself in something of a pickle. Now that I know where the story's going, finally, I find myself stuck on a lot of things, mostly on world building. I am in this just massive, horrifying conundrum of figuring out the answers to all these questions I have about things and people. Even if it's inconsequential and will never end up in the book, if I don't know the answer to it, it drives me insane. So I'm just like, I just got these documents with just pages of questions that I have to answer because it's my story. It's actually not the writing of the book that's taking so long. It's all this insane amount of backstory and history, vampire culture, uh... Vampire culture and history. We'll just leave it at that. I'm not getting into spoilers is hard. Like the first book kind of meanders a little bit. I'm aware of that. And I really want the second book to be much more, you know, plot driven. So that's part of why it's taking so long. The other part is that, you know, most authors, even if they have multiple books out, do not make a living off of their books. I and many other authors have full-time jobs, regular pay the bills work. On top of that, I just moved across the country, and I just moved across the country because a relationship I was in ended. And uh, it's really difficult to write a love story after a breakup. Um, so I kind of just wasn't in the mood to have Caitlin and Adrian be super in love and stuff, because I was not in a place where I <laughs> wanted to write about that. So that's also a factor. What was my other reason? Work? Breakup? Moving? History. Was that it? Maybe that was it. <laughs> I thought there was another reason this was taking so long. Well, uh, distracted easily by shiny things. Luckily, my job has kind of settled. My life has kind of settled. Sam Tucker, Sam Tucker Young, a uh, fellow young adult author, has been a huge help just bouncing ideas back and forth with me. So you should check out his book, Derek Agons Slays a Dragon. Agons. Derek Agons Slays a Dragon. I'm sorry. I always pronounce it incorrectly. Sorry, Sam. I apologize for the huge break in um, this vlogs. I know you love them so much. But the goal is this year, by Christmas, you will have this beautiful, beautiful book in your hands. So you can give it as a Christmas present to all of your favorite people. I will have more information as soon as possible about uh, arcs and giveaways and um, goodies of that nature. Uh, thanks for listening.